Hello and welcome back to Take Action News with David Schuster. Of course, this is Daniel Marin's executive producer, guest hosting once again today, July 20th, 2013. Sitting next to me, of course, is my co-host today, Cole Stangler. He's a staff writer for In These Times. And just joining us in studio is Alan Rosenblatt. He's going to be talking with us in just a moment. Alan has an amazing segment today about something that's very, very important. It's a cause that Americans have been valuing for a long time, and particularly in the past week. That's the issue of Sharknado. And... Um, if you think that the weather is irregular now, um, just imagine what would happen if there was a tornado with sharks in it. <laughs> and I think Alan can really speak to just how serious that threat is and, and, and what kind of action our government agencies are taking. But, but before I get to that, and, and, and it looks like Alan's just plugged in, but before I get to that, I, I wanted to discuss another very important news item. You know, in, in hard times like these... Maybe more important than the Sharknado story. Uh, the, the, you know, this was a tough week. This was, you know, um, for those of us that are really upset about the Zimmerman verdict, about, about justice in this country, um, you know, and Alan was here a couple weeks ago, we were talking about Paula Dean. Well... If that makes America's racial legacy look bad, the Zimmerman verdict is, is a lot more disturbing. The conversation we just had with Lizbeth Mateo was also pretty darn um, upsetting but hopeful. You know, it just means that, that there's going to be Americans need to wake up and fight harder. It's important in that context, I think, to share the lighter stories. And, and one of those was that Michelle Bachman apparently accidentally got a vibrator um, from, from her conservative Christian consultants the strategy group for media, um, apparently, you know, they, they, uh, the CEO, Rex Elsass, of strategy group for media, sent, uh, w intended to send her a head massager, sent a staffer to, to get the head massager, and um, uh, whether, we don't know exactly the intentions, I mean, <laughs> there's an innocent, presumption of innocence until proven guilt, but, uh, Got a vibrator instead, and, and Bachman was was unhappy well, about that. And uh, she, has, she has problems with migraines. I mean, maybe that maybe that helps with the migraines. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure it would. Well, the head the head massager. Yeah. Well, no. <laughs> but the the, vi the vibrator could, if she were open to it. I, I find it hard to believe that, given the fact that Michelle Bachman is married to a closeted gay man, <laughs> that that she does not use That's a vibrator. Cool. Alan, is there anything <laughs> you know? Charge. Alan, I know you're 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 a uh, an expert in Christian theology, and. Um, <laughs> I just wondering, you know, is there anything in Christianity? Maybe we could bring our, our token Gentile in, uh, you know, Pete Callahan. Cole's a half Z, so it doesn't totally count. But uh, you know, uh, vibrators, really? Like, yeah. is that's a problem? I don't know. Well, the one thing that really disturbed me about the article was it said that they sent it to her, but then they were able to retrieve it before she got it. And the article says that they mailed it to her and retrieved it before they got it. Now. That sounds like somebody went in and intercepted federal mail, which is a felony. Hmm. So someone showed up at her at her address. Or and have kind we of reached the point where mailing it to somebody now ubiquitously means FedEx, DHL, uh, U.S. Postal, uh, and there's no it's differentiation. The cr creeping there. privatization, yeah. Alan. You creeping know. privatization. <laughs> it is not a so not so creeping. Quite out in the open, actually, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's uh. Um, I, I think it's upsetting, um, and uh, you know I'm I'm uh, I'm sorry about that. Though you know what, this could all be a cover up too. I mean, we don't really know that for certain. We we I mean, it could be maybe, maybe it was for her husband. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point. Yeah. yeah, Marcus Marcus took it, and it was returned. It was returned <laughs> unopened, aka yeah. Marcus using <laughs> it. Um, that that. Uh, that that's what happened. Um, uh, I'm wondering if you know if she's getting gifts. You know whether this will play into you know the the federal investigation of her of her uh, payments <laughs> to her consultants. Um, Maybe that was included in the payments that she you know the invoice may reveal <laughs> that that one. She of in the fact items, asked for a vibrator. Right, right. You know this was quid pro quo. She wanted to create a buzz. <laughs> oh. Yeah. All right. Social media, of course, of course. <laughs> In just a couple moments, we take action news continues. We're going to wait as our syndicated stations join us, and we're going to start with Dr. Digital on social media.